Hello, 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 everyone. Today, we are going to be talking about the Mondo Llama um, color pencils. These are available at your Target. Target's rolled out a new crafting section, and they have colored pencils. Um, and they also have acrylic paints. They have glitters. They have paint markers. They have fine liners, all kinds of stuff. Check it out. So today we're gonna to be talking about the color pencils. It, it is a 72 set and they come in as tin here. It's actually a nice tin. It's not like cheaply made. It's actually pretty nice. Um, it is a, ow. Sometimes I forget I did break my finger. It, it The lid comes all the way off. Uh, mine are in here. You know me. My pencils go in a case. But the lid comes off. And it's, it's a nice bright orange tin. Um, these are what they look like. Let me just grab them. So it's the 72 set. They are a round pencil. Um, they are about the size of a Prismacolor or a Crayola, maybe. Maybe a Crayola pencil. And let me zoom in. Uh, it has the name, the Mondo Llama, but they don't have the color name or numbers on them. So you either are going to want to put them in a case and keep them in order or number them yourself. Now let's look at the colors. So here we are. These are the purples, the blues, and we're going into the green. They don't have a lot of purples. There's only four. Um, like as far as like the bluish purples go. Anyway, the greens, they got some lovely pinks. Um, I think this is a pink. I'm not sure why this is here. This might be red. I just put them in order that they were in um, in the box. So I didn't like put them in a special color order. And then so the regular set stops here. And then it goes into the, um, the hues of you is what they call it. So, the hues of you, which is like their skin tones, have the names on them. So, I don't know why they didn't put the names on the others. But, the full 72 set includes the hues of you set. And, it also includes the metallic set as well. Now... Here's my thing with these pencils. The regular set does not have the names on them. The hues of you have the names on them. And the metallic, you guys are gonna get a kick out of this one. They all just say metallic on the end. Not metallic black or metallic silver, metallic purple, just metallic. So that was one thing that kind of annoyed me but I'm just going to keep them in order. So if you're going to buy, because they have the 72 set, and then they have the Hues of You set separately, and then they have the Metallic set separately as well. So if you're going to buy the 72 set, do not buy the separate sets of the Metallics and the Hues of You because they're included in the 72 set. So they sell them separate. But if you're going for that 72 set, don't buy them separately. So, that's what they look like. Here's, I swatched them in my color chart book already. So, let's see if I can find them. Crayola, the fruit sooner. Ah, here we go. So, they are very pigmented. And you guys know I have a light hand. Very pigmented. And check out these metallics. Y'all see that? Can y'all see the metallic sheen? 
they're pretty good for you know budget friendly pencils these pencils were only 25 dollars in target and let me tell you they're better than the crayolas they blend nice and everything um i'm gonna show you a few things that i colored with it and then we're gonna color something together so yes i got my copy of busy world so i take this one to work now because there's so many little bits and bobs that i um just you know can do a couple before work so you see this honey jar these are the mondo llamas this turtle was the mondo llamas and these these bottles up here that i did were the mondo llamas these down here i did with my whole binds that's another video but um so we're gonna do something here pick some stuff here for us to do we're gonna do just a few i don't want this video to be too long so we're gonna start with this little balloon or this guy hanging out in this balloon so for the sake of this video um we're gonna try and blend some stuff here together so this balloon is going to be i want to say let's make it a nice blue but then I think I'm gonna make it a nice purple so we're gonna grab let's see here we're gonna grab this color maybe I should grab a pink let's see Right, we're gonna grab this pink and they don't have names but I'm grabbing this one and so I'm just going to you know I'm a layering girl so I like to layer my pencils even the ones that have a hard time with layering I still manage to layer them pretty good in my opinion so So in the pink and now I'm going to take uh, let's take this purplish pink color and so I'm just gonna you guys probably can't see what I'm doing just yet So we got some nice, and it's very pigmented. Like, I'm barely touching pencil to paper, and it's, you guys can see, well, it's a little uh, bright from my last video I was recording, but you guys can see the colors going down very pretty. All right, and then now I'm coming in with this one here. I don't even know what to call them because, again, there's no names. But if you can get past that part and you're looking for, you know, if you don't have a lot of pencils in your collection and, you know, you don't have a lot of money to spend or if you just want to add this one to your collection like me just because, I mean, I don't have a lot of money to spend either. But I seen them and I was like, oh, I was like, interesting. I was like, I wonder how good they are. And I couldn't help myself. So if you like me and you just can't help yourself, then uh, go ahead and pick these up. I, I would say they are better than the Crayolas. Really, in my opinion, they are. Um, you know, Crayolas is, is quite a bit more cheap, but as far as pigmentation goes, they don't have to be that cheap. But it's more of a school brand. I like Crayola. You can do great things with Crayola. But sometimes I'm like, come on, Crayola, y'all don't have to be that cheap. Like some of those um, colors of the world, 
pencils, you can't even see, like the lighter ones, you can't even see really the, the pencil, you know, and I get it's supposed to be for skin tones, but even some of the regular ones, you can't really tell. And you have to press extremely hard to get the color down and some people do great things with Crayolas. And I've done some nice pictures too, but sometimes I'm just like, whew. All right, so we're gonna blend this all together. And I went outside the line just a little bit, but that's okay. These, um, this Busy World book, the, uh, they're tiny. <laughs> I like details. I like the fact that it's like extremely detailed, but it's also extremely tiny. So and then we're just gonna I'm gonna blend this all together. And they blend really nice too. Alright, so now I feel like this balloon was more pink than anything, but like I said, some of these colors, but I think I kind of like it with the pinkish glow in the middle, so that's okay. Let me just, can you guys see the, how nicely that blended together? So let's do, let me see here, let's do... Let me see, what can we do so I can show you guys? Let's do this little pot here. Let me see if I can. Where, where did it go? Where's the pot? Oh, it's up here. Okay. Let's do this little pot. So, I'm going to bring in... Hmm... Let's make it a orange pot. Uh, or let's make it, let's try to make it into a terracotta pot. That might be kind of cool. So we're going to come back here to our browns. And there's a light brown here. And I should have put the actual names on the, uh, Um, I should have put the actual names maybe on these things, but okay, so like this here is probably that orange, and then we have just this one, okay, so I think I've got it quite down, but let's see, so this is, I think this is actually terracotta, so we're going to come in with this. We're just going to base the whole thing because I'm a layer girl. I mean, don't ask me to blend. I can blend a little bit, but not well enough to be trying to show it off in a review video. So I'm basing that in terracotta. And so then now I have whatever color this is supposed to be. And it's supposed to be a little bit darker. So this is going to go in the shadow areas here. And just underneath there. And they do leave um, like a little bit of the dust. But I'm okay with that. I can just brush it off. Um, it's not a lot. It's just if you press down hard enough, like most pencils, you will get that. I actually think I want to bring this out just a bit more. I don't want our pot to be that light. All right. And so I'm going to find a darker color. Let me put these in back in order. Um, let me go find a darker one. So... Maybe this, whatever color this is, it's so hard to choose. Okay, 
I guess this one. Maybe. Hopefully. It's hard to choose because I haven't put numbers on them yet. Which I probably should have done before this video. But that's okay. I'm trying to just show off the pencils themselves. I would rather them had at least put numbers or, you know, and color names, at least on the box. We could have figured it out by the box, but nope. They knew well enough to put metallic, though, on all of the metallic markers. I mean, pins. That part was kind of funny to me. I was just like, okay, you had time. So you're capable of putting the... the the letters and things on there you just didn't but maybe they don't know what to name them I don't know so that's your pot let me bring you in here so you can see that's pretty much what it looks like um, that's using busy world so let's check to see I just gotta uh, oops sorry my arms are in the way okay just got a random paper here we're gonna test to make sure we don't have no craziness going on with the um with the water, which you know these budget pencils, most of them are, but we're gonna check anyway. So we're gonna take this reddish color. Matter of fact, and we're gonna also while we're at it attempt to blend, I guess. This is like an orangish color. I probably should have picked something different. Oh, well, it pretty much blended right in, though. Okay. Maybe grab a yellow. See what yellow does. It's a bright yellow. I probably should have picked something in between. But y'all, I'm not good with blending, so let's see here if I can get that orangey color back. See if I can. Yeah, I'm going to need a, a, a in the middle yellow. Yeah, I told y'all I'm not good at blending, so don't be laughing at my blending skills. I like to layer, so... There we go. So I just needed an in the middle color. I guess that's what I was missing. Okay. And then I'm gonna bring this this weird red color. I don't know. This is more like a pinky red, but I think this is the reddest red in there. But they do have some nice colors though, so I won't complain. And from the looks of it, I'm sure most of you know how to blend better than I do, so. From my horrible blending skills, um, y'all can see that it actually, uh, it's actually pretty nice. So, this is me making an attempt to blend. Y'all know I don't know how to blend. So, there we go. Now, let's test it with some water. I got my... See what it does. It's taking off the pigment. Just a little bit though. Not y'all see. Because once I scrub that away. I don't know what kind of uh paper this is either, but once I scrub that away from it, look, not much is coming off of it anymore. So it might just be like a, if you put too much down type of thing. But I mean, who's really using, if you're going to like use, you know, your pencils as watercolors or I don't understand the purpose of this test, but somebody's going to ask me, but if you are using watercolors or acrylic or anything like that 
and you're scared your pencil's gonna do this, use the paint first, wait till it dries, and then use your pencils. I don't, I'm not gonna say that these pencils are bad or anything of that nature because they, they did what they just did. Because that just tells me, okay, do the test, right? And then if they do just that, now I know if I'm gonna use paint, watercolors or any kind of water medium with these pencils, I know to put the water medium down first. And if I don't wanna put the water medium down first, guess what? I will be using these pencils. But in my personal opinion, guys, um, they're, they're a really good pencil. They're, you know, they blend. As you've seen with Jazz's horrible blend test, you know, they have a nice, decent range of colors. Um, I will show you guys the colors again. They have a pretty decent range of colors. Um, you know, this, I, th I think they just started this. So for them to have just started this crafting section, I think they have a pretty good range of colors because this is the Mondo's and this is the Crayola. So, you know, this is the Crayola I think 100 set and the colors of the world. But you see what I mean by the colors of the world? You can barely see the, about five or six of those. So, for the Mondo, for their hues of you, it starts here and it ends there. So you can see all of them. It's only 12, but you can still see the lightest one. You can see it. So they're really pigmented um, pencils. They're really nice. Uh, there's not a lot of reds. That's probably the only downside for me. There's a decent amount of purples, greens, blues. There's like two yellows. There's decent amount of orange. So if you just kind of, but they have like really nice colors. Like this greenish blue is really nice. This one's really nice. This purple is even really nice. The metallics give off a nice, you know, metallic sheen. Uh, so I would say, you know, if you have the money, go pick them up and try them out. Um, and to be honest, if you don't like them, return them. But I think they're pretty good. And um, I also did a little bit, actually, let me show you. Sorry, give me one minute. I'm going to show you. Uh, these trees were done with the Mondos as well as these clouds. So you can get some, some nice um, things done with those pencils. So go ahead and give them a try. And let me know down in the comment section if you have them, if you've seen them, if your Target's updated their section with them yet. Um, because they're actually pretty nice for the price, $25. You can't beat it. So, I mean, you can beat it with some Crayolas, but these are more, you'll, you'll see, and they feel nice, they're softer. You don't have to put too much pressure down on the paper just to get, you know, color down. So, I'd say give it a shot. And... Let me know, guys. Let me know what, um, you know, which, uh, if your target actually has them and which of the supplies you picked up, even if it's not the pencils, just let me know what your target has because every target's different. But put it down in the comment section and let me know if you want to see a, a full page colored with these two because I haven't done a full page. I've done just like little bits and bobs. So let me know. I'd like to know what you guys think. And um, thank you for watching the review video of the Mondo Llama colored pencils. And I'll see you next time.